In this video, I just wanted to go over S3 replication and how to set that up. So this is the page for S3 replication, and it's just a way to automatically have uh, the contents of one bucket be replicated in another bucket. And that bucket can actually be uh, in the same region. It could be in a different region. It could actually even be in a different account. So this document here, I'm going to include it in the, in the description, talks about um, types of replication, why you want to use it, and so forth. And I'm going to just go over how to do the replication. So I'm going to start in S3, and I'm going to just create, um, I'm just going to create a new bucket in S3, and I'm going to call it um, test replication. I'm going to add my name to it, and I'm going to put it into this region, US East 1, and I'm going to enable versioning on that bucket, and then keep everything else the same. So I'll just say create bucket. Okay, and so there's the bucket that I just created. I'm going to create now another bucket. I'm going to call this test replication. We'll call it two. So this will actually have the contents of the first bucket. And then here, I'm going to actually give it a different region. I'll put it in a totally different region, let's say in London. And we'll also enable versioning here and keep everything else the same and create the bucket. Okay, so now I have replication, which is going to be the original one, and then test replication two, which will be, um, which will store all the contents of the first bucket. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enable replication in the first bucket. I'm going to go under here, management, replication. So you can do cross region or same region replication. I'm going to just start this. You can, um, you can replicate parts of the bucket. I'm just going to do the entire bucket for now. And then I'm going to hit next. So here's where I have to select the, des the destination bucket or where, where it's going to be replicated to. So I can just find my bucket here, the one in London. And I could, each, I could have uh, other things here like changing ownership and, and changing the storage class. I'm just going to leave this as is. And this is the part that's important. So I'm going to, it asks for an IM role to be created. And I'm going to create a new role because I wanted to create uh, the policy automatically for it. So um, we'll create a new role. And uh, let's just say, Test application Misha, and then so then the source is going to be the test replication bucket, and the destination will be test replication two in London, and it's going to create this new role, and we'll hit save. Okay, great. Now this is the role that it created automatically. And if I go to my IAM console, if I go under here, and I just look for that. This is the role that it just created right now. And if I look here, I could see the policy. Okay, here's the policy. So as you can see, so it allows listing of the bucket from the first, so it allows reading the first bucket, and then it allows the replicate object, and delete, and all this other stuff, it, it allows that on the second bucket. So it automatically created that policy and added it to that role. I'm just going to bring it up again. So here's the role. And and there's the policy. Okay, great. So now 
it looks like everything is set up for the replication. And what I'll do now is I will add a file to the first bucket. So I'm going to upload and then I'm just going to upload this index.html file and I'll say upload. Okay, so now I have that file there. Now I'm going to go into my destination bucket and it should replicate it fairly quickly. Okay, so there it is. So I just replicated that file. Now I'm going to go back to my source bucket. I'm going to add a second file. So I'll add that JPEG. Okay, so there's the JPEG file. Now I'm going to go to my destination bucket, which is the one in London. And let's see, okay, see it's not there yet. So it's, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to replicate. And I think it even said in the documentation it could take up to 15 minutes, but there it is. So it just replicated right now. And what I also wanted to show you is I found a little bit of a kind of a bug or kind of it's a weird behavior, but if I try to delete if I try to delete from the source, so let's say I go into here and I'm going to show all the versions and let's say let's say I delete I delete that JPEG. So it's going to put in a delete marker because I enabled versioning. So if I go into show here, so now we could see the JPEG has a delete marker here. I noticed that it didn't, um, it doesn't replicate it on the destination bucket. So here it's still showing that JPEG and if I go to the versions, it's still showing uh, the original version. Now, it's kind of a weird behavior. I even noticed um, this Stack Overflow question about it as well, how this person also was asking how it's not deleting, it's not replicating the delete, um, the delete marker. Just wanted to point that out. Um, but if I went and let's say added a, a new version of one of those files, so let's say I go back, go back to my source. And so right now, um, there's a delete marker on the JPEG, but let's say I created a new version of my HTML file, which is right here. So let's say I put make this version two of my HTML file. And then if I go back to my source and I upload a new version of that, which is right here. So now I have two versions and there's the latest version of the, um, of the HTML file. If I go back to my um, replication bucket, it should replicate the second version. So yeah, so there it is. So it, it replicated the second version of, version of the HTML file, but it didn't replicate the delete marker of the JPEG file. So it's a bit of a weird behavior, uh, probably has to do with uh, policies and permissions. Just wanted to point that out. And that's it. This is how you would um, create um, bucket replication. Um, the other thing is, if you want to um, delete everything, like delete the replication, you have to not only delete the bucket, so what I'll do now is I'll actually, I'll go through the whole delete process. So we'll delete the replication bucket. So that's this one here. And I'm going to delete the bucket. and I'm going to delete the original bucket. So we'll do that. And what I wanted to show is actually in IAM because you have this role now with a policy. So just to don't forget to clean this up as well. So the policy is here. I can delete the policy here and 
and then I could also delete the roll right here. And I'll just delete the roll. And that's it. And this is how you set up and uh, bring down the S3 replication.